Have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? Does the concept of quantum mechanics intrigue you? Reality is a concept that's as profound as it's mysterious, and when you add quantum mechanics into the mix, things get even more fascinating. Especially when we talk about Schrodinger's wave function, a key element in understanding our universe. This mathematical function allows us to explore the probabilities of quantum particles and the possible realities they could create. Today we delve into the fascinating world of Schrodinger's wave function and how it can help us shape our reality. Schrodinger's wave function, a key concept in quantum mechanics, challenges our understanding of reality. Let's think of it as a mathematical tool, a bit like a GPS for particles at the quantum level. This wave function, represented by the Greek letter psi, doesn't tell us the exact location of a particle but rather, it provides us with a cloud of possibilities, a range of places where the particle could potentially be. Imagine you're playing a game of hide-and-seek. The wave function is like your friend giving you a hint, saying, the hider could be anywhere in the garden, that's your cloud of possibilities. Now the peculiar thing about this wave function is that it evolves over time following Schrodinger's equation. This means that the cloud of possibilities changes as time progresses, just like how the hiding spots in your game would change if the hider could move around. What's more, the wave function can interfere with itself, creating areas of high and low probabilities, akin to someone telling you, hey the hider really likes the rose bush, check there first, that's your highest probability area. But remember, until you actually find the hider, or in quantum mechanics, make a measurement, everything remains in a state of superposition, all possibilities coexisting. So in essence, Schrodinger's wave function allows us to predict the probability of the state of a quantum system at any given time. Now, you might be wondering how does this apply to me and my reality? The concept of reality within the framework of Schrodinger's wave function is truly fascinating. It implies that our reality isn't just a static, unchanging environment, instead it's a dynamic entity consistently influenced by our perceptions and interactions. This concept may seem abstract but it's the cornerstone of quantum mechanics and by extension, our understanding of the universe. Let's break it down. In the quantum world, particles exist in a state of superposition meaning they can be in multiple states at once. However, this superposition collapses into a single state once observed. This is the essence of Schrodinger's wave function. Now what if we were to apply this to our everyday reality? Consider your life as a wave function, a superposition of all possible realities. Every choice you make, every thought you have, every interaction you engage in, is akin to an observation. These observations collapse your life's wave function into a single reality, the one you're experiencing right now, in this sense, our perceptions play a pivotal role in shaping our reality. When we perceive our world in a certain way, we are effectively collapsing our wave function into a reality that aligns with those perceptions. If we perceive our world as filled with opportunities we're more likely to encounter these opportunities. If we perceive it as fraught with challenges, then that's the reality we will experience. This doesn't mean we can simply wish for a million dollars and have it appear out of thin air. But it does suggest that our attitudes, our thoughts, and our actions have a profound impact on the reality we experience. So in a sense we're all quantum observers, collapsing our personal wave functions into our individual realities. We're not just passive recipients of reality, we're active participants, shaping it with our perceptions and interactions. This means that in a way we have the power to shape our reality to make our wishes come true, by influencing our own wave function. So, let's take a moment to revisit what we've learned today. We started by questioning the very nature of reality and how we perceive it. The heart of this discussion led us to the fascinating world of quantum mechanics and Schrodinger's wave function. This mathematical function is a fundamental concept in quantum physics, providing a way to calculate the likelihood of a particle's position at any given moment. We then delved into how this wave function is intrinsically tied to our reality. It's a representation of possibilities, of potentials, that only become defined when observed. This concept opens up a profound perspective, that our reality is not fixed, but fluid and changeable, just like the wave function itself. By understanding and applying this, we can begin to see that we are not merely passive observers, but active participants in shaping the reality around us. Remember, you have the power to shape your reality. Just like Schrodinger's wave function, your reality is full of endless possibilities. Explore them, embrace them, and create the reality you desire.